for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 20 Ultimate Team Coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, U4GM Coins. Use code Venom at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's good guys? It's Fun and Fire here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be going over what has become my favorite pass defense to run in Madden 20, and what I think is probably the easiest play to adjust out of on defense. Now, as you guys have seen from the thumbnail, the play we're going to be running today is going to be this nickel blitz to out of the nickel normal. I went over a cover four palms video out of nickel normal. You guys should go check that one out after the video. You can put these two together very well. But nickel normal, it's going to be in the Miami Dolphins playbook today. And yeah, like I said, nickel blitz. Now, I'm going to be showing this playoff against a ton of formations. We're in the Patriots playbook on offense. So I'm going to show it against split close, a slot, uh, gun trips, tight end, and bunch. So four of the most popular formations in the game. Let's just start out in split close. Now, a lot of people when they see you come out in that cover two look. So also against split close, something that's going to be key is you want to run your cornerback to the single receiver side. So you can't have auto flip on for this play. I want my corner on this right side. Now right off the bat, if people see this cover two look, let's say you just run a basic stock cover two, something like this, and then you'll just use your him. So let's just say you come out in a stock cover two, because a lot of people will see your defense, they'll think you're running stock cover two. They will immediately go to their cover two beater. So I'm just gonna run a very simple cover two beater right here, um, and just to torch it in one play very easily. So let's just run this, and let's go ahead, roll out. You guys see, wide open on the sidelines, and they pick up a nice 45 yard gain. So this is the reason that you have to have your cornerback on that side. So the way, that you always defend split close with this defense is right off the bat what i like to do is i like to personally base a line and i like to pinch now pinch it means you pinch your whole defense when you pinch your whole defense you're going to go ahead pinch the d-line pinch your linebackers and bring those corners down now the way you pinch is press lb or l1 and that left stick down and you guys see this player is automatically going to be hovered so if you click on and click off he's going to move back now the way that you stop split close, and I'm going to have specific ways to stop every formation, but the way you're going to stop split close is basically just turn this into a cover three cloud. So what I'm going to do is put my slot corner in a curl flat. I'm going to put my outside corner, this B corner, on a outside third, and I'm going to put A on an inside third. So there we have it. Cover three on the right, cover two on the left. Now, something that you can also do that's additional is... Just shade underneath and shade over the top. That's going to give you two cloud flats. And the last thing you want to do is to get those glitchy sheds with your D lineman. What you're going to do is just slant inside. So that's just going to give the, those two outside guys some very good animations. And they're just going to rush the passer better for whatever reason. I like to use her the guy to the cover three side usually. Um, but like I said, let's say it still does look like a cover two in this case. And they're going to see the recent play. It's going to be nickel blitz. They're still going to think you're in cover two. So... Just take a look at it. It looks like a cover two. It looks the exact same as the other one, but we just turned it into a cover three. So um, since I can't really use her, let's just run the same exact play that I just did that beat cover two. And I'm going to show you guys how it gets boxed. Obviously, in this case, I would be using the tight end. So just pretend that he's covered. He probably will be. Let's just go. Let's just go ahead. Let's go ahead. Motion lock it over. Let's hike the ball. And you guys see, look at the shot. Look at the sheds as well. So I throw it and my outside third right there to pick it off. And that should be an easy pick slash pass breakup right there. So that is the reason that you always have to run your cornerback on that single receiver side. So if you see the offense, if they go ahead, flip the play, you just have to flip it as well and go ahead, set up the defense. Again, the setups are going to be, you're going to put that slot corner LB in that curl flat, put X in a outside third and put Y in in the inside third just like this again you could shade underneath shade over the top also you could base a line like i just did right there and then you could repress if you want so again with the d line what i'm doing here is i'm going to go ahead and slant down slant inside aka so that i get those better sheds you guys saw in the other play daniel hunter got an instant shed he just got picked up by the running back which will happen so if you see him chop blocking you every play just go ahead put one of the players on a spy simple fix and let's go ahead try it again so uh, i didn't mean to motion him but you guys understand this is one of the key plays in cover um against cover two so let's run it again here let's hike the ball you guys see 
roll out and I throw it outside third right there for the pick and it actually does get picked off so that's just easy way to beat split close it works for the other plays so if they run PAY shot I'm not sure if it's in the audibles PAY shot they go with their setup again you want to run that slot corner to the single receiver side I just set up my cover three and there we go just go ahead set up this PAY shot let's run it and keep in mind, I'm probably going to go ahead and use the slant here, but you guys see, I throw it, look at the outside third, look how easy the outside third or the curl flat defense, that crossing route, it's going to be at, or actually the cover two side, so just ignore what I said, but you guys see, you guys understand that it is absolutely back. So let's go ahead, hop into a new formation. Like I said, I want to go through those four key formations, show you guys how to defend them. So make sure you guys stay to the end of the video and I'll show you how to defend them. So again... We're in the Patriots playbook. We're going to go to probably the most popular formation. It's going to be a slot. Now, the best post, the best play everybody runs is posts. Let's come out in that. They usually always run their receivers to the left side. So let's just come out and post. Now, there is another cover two beater out of this. So against a slot, you're going to run your cornerback to the opposite side, the side that nobody is on. And there's going to be a reason why I'm going to show you guys later in the video. But again, I'm running my corner to the side where no receivers on. Now, this is actually going to hurt you in the run defense department. So if he continues to run the ball, I'm going to show you guys a little bit later that there's a way to stop that. But I'm literally setting up the defense the exact same way. What I'm going to do is just put my corner in a curl flat, put this outside corner in a outside third, and then just put that strong safety in his zone so usually this corner will be out here I'm, I think I might have forgot to base a line and I guess that was the reason but again we're slanting inside as well so here's a look at the setup now the reason that we're going with this setup and that reason that we have the cornerback on the right side is to stop the cover two beater so the cover two beater more or less is gonna look like this where they're gonna motion this guy again he's on a deep post Deep posts turn into corner outs, absolutely torch cover two. So he's going to motion him all the way across the formation, run like this. And you guys see if I throw it, I mean, that's open, but I couldn't click on. If I click on, that's the easiest pick of my life. So, you know, that would easily be an interception. So let's run the same thing, but let's just leave it as a cover two. So let's say you come out on the wrong side for whatever reason. You don't listen to me. You come out on the wrong side and you run something like this. Where you run your cover your cover two on that right side then people will just go with their cover two beater over there and they will absolutely torch you so let's say let's run the same thing this time the cover two is on the right and you guys will see it's going to be absolutely wide open right there for russell wilson even if i click on i have no shot to pick that ball off and yeah this is the reason that you have to keep you have to keep that cornerback on that right side I'll run it a couple more times and here's a look at that defense again we're slanting inside and let's go ahead even if I run it stock it should be relatively bagged you guys see the corner outs bagged all I can do really is check down to the flats I'm gonna be using that Texas route using that angle route uh, with my linebacker I'll either use her usually on defense I'm using this player but again one last time Here's a look at the defense. Again, make sure that you, you, I can't stress this enough, you keep your corner on that right side. So you really are doing the opposite of what auto flip would typically be doing for you, which is actually kind of funny, but it's the reality of what you have to do. Again, if I run stock posts, all I can do is really check down to the flats and you can sort of adjust out of that. If he's killing you with the flats, um, something you could do is just man up one of those linebackers on him if he wants to throw every play. But that's pretty much it. Let's hop into yet another formation, Trips Tight End. Now, Trips Tight End is actually going to be defended the exact same way as Gun A Slot. So, it's not going to be too much explaining I have to do. But let's just go ahead. Um, trips Tight End. We're going to run the Trips to this side again. And we're going to run our cornerback to the right side yet again. The same thing as we did in A Slot. So, again, I'm base aligning. I'm pinching the defense. And I'm putting my cover three with the corner side now. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is if he's killing you with inside zone, something you're going to have to do is flip it. So you're going to actually need that cornerback over there to blow up his inside zone. If he's continuing to kill it, you can't get a block shed. 
So you're just going to basically do something similar. What you're going to do is you're basically just going to put a cover three on the right side with your safety. And then you're going to just have to put your middle third, one of your linebackers in a middle third like this. And then you're going to put LB in a vert hook. And I'll obviously be using the right side. So it'll look like this. That's a little bit more advanced. So you just initially want to stop the run better. But if you can't stop the run, this is something you're going to have to rock with. So again, this is literally the same thing. We just have our corner on the other side. And the only difference is we have a middle linebacker right there. But um, the cover three side is going to absolutely bag the crosser, which is a very key thing out of trips. So again, the adjustments, base align, pinch your defense, put LB in a curl flat, put B in an outside third, put A in a inside third. Um, go ahead, slant inside, and then you could just shade underneath over the top. But I want you to take a look at the crosser. Look how... Look how the crosser just isn't open at all. Again, I'm just going to run a basic setup. Let's just run something like this. Go ahead, hike the ball. You guys see? Boom. Even if I don't use the crosser, he's going to be bagged. The outside third plays the crosser so well. And in trips, it's really difficult to sort of open up the space for that crosser without motioning a receiver all the way across the formation. So again, I'm not going to stay over the trips too much. That's basically the way to defend it. The cover two side is going to stop any corner out that they might try to throw at you. There's not really a cover two beater from left to right. They're, the only one is going to be stopped by your cover three cloud anyway. So yeah, let's hop into the last formation, gun bunch. Again, this one's going to be a little bit different. So if you run auto flip, you're going to be able to box this one. Now cover, th now gun bunch. You're going to, again, you're going to base a line. You're going to pinch your defense. You're going to slant inside. Those are the three things you want to do every play, no matter what. Now, for this play, you want your cornerback on the bunch side. Again, we're going to run the same exact adjustments, but the reason that you want the cover three on the right is simply to stop corner outs. Outside thirds play corner outs very well. Now, there used to be a cover three beater where if you put a streak and a corner out, let's pretend RB's on a corner out, then it would beat cover three. But this late in the year, the safeties are so fast that that cover three beater doesn't even work anymore. So... The only cover three beater is to put this guy on like a deep post. This player on a comeback route. It's called deep corner. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. And that should absolutely beat cover three. But guess what? It can't because on our defense, look at the zones we have on the left side. If they try to go deep corner, we have a cover two on that left side. And cover three cloud is overall just a great defense to stop bunch. He's really gonna, just going to have to go to mesh posts or some other play over and over. Because he's not going to be able to beat it with a corner out or anything else. So again... Let's just hike the ball. Boom. You guys see we're getting those instant sheds every play, every play. If they throw that corner out, usually you can click onto your outside third. And you could also use it if for whatever reason it is getting open. But again, your base aligning, you're pinching the defense, you're slanting inside. And then you could go from there, put that little cover three on that side. Again, I could turn it into a cover. Or I could just um, shade it underneath, shade over the top. And yeah, pretty much everything is going to be bagged running like that. Um, if they do want to go with sort of a max protect, then you could put up the spy. If they're chop blocking you, you could also put up the spy. But again, you guys see we throw it and easy pick. Uh, for whatever reason, we don't get a pick. I literally played that perfectly. But you know, it is what it is. So if they throw a corner out, you should be able to click on more times than not. And if for whatever reason, it's getting open. Go with the user, simply user it. So that's pretty much it. Showed you guys how this defense bags four of the most popular formations in today's Madden. Um, near close flex, I could go over some of those formations, but uh, that's another time for another video. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like for similar videos like this one. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, go check out my cover four palms out of the same exact formation. And yeah, make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you're not already. I think 85% of my viewers aren't subscribed. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe if you want more of these tips for free. And peace out.